Guys, it is, I'm filming this, it's 10 to 6. 10 to 6 on a Friday night. My day is just absolutely gone. Uh, I was going to do this first thing and it's just it's just one thing after another. I don't know why I'm holding this, sorry. Uh, one thing after the other today has absolutely happened, but I thought I want to, I still want to get, I want to commit, I want to get this video out. I don't know if anyone watches it or not, but I'm doing it. Um, Updating you on a VCC Homes weekly news update. In terms of the industry, not an awful lot happened. We're in tier two, I think. We're coming back out of lockdown, 2nd of December. Don't know what tier you're in, um, wherever you are. Um, will there be a mini uh, boom of people trying to move, you know, just before Christmas and stuff like that? My fingers are crossed. This week in general, our rooms have gone up. I'm looking at the rooms now. We've got 87 HMO units live at the moment. Um, in fact, that's a lie. We've got 85. We've got two more rooms coming in our eight bed, but then the rooms aren't finished yet, so we haven't even done the pictures and stuff like that. So if we get rid of those, out of the 85 rooms, we've got eight that we need to like, that are part of the natural like, yeah, eight rooms to fill. Then we've got three people that are in contracts and want to end their contract as well. Um, I had a message earlier on in the week about um, taking on a seven bed HMO. Haven't heard back from that landlord yet. Um, so whether we do or don't, not holding my fingers. What's well, not holding my fingers? Not getting my hopes up until um, contracts are signed, stuff like that. Um, not an awful lot of viewings have happened this week. Like I said, I don't think we've sold many rooms. I can't remember if we've sold any rooms. Pretty sure we haven't. No, no rooms have been sold. View some viewings have happened. Um, already had feedback. People found someone in other towns. Um, had a really good viewing today with a nice lady. I think she'll probably take a room with us if we can agree a price uh, on the room. Um, just generally, we've been trying to sort out maintenance issues in the new HMOs that we've been taking over. Trying to uh, just communicate with the landlord who's in Australia. Um, communicate with managing the cash flow coming in from the properties because he's got empty rooms with the maintenance. So if the maintenance costs two thousand pounds, but obviously there isn't that cash flow coming in, minus got to pay his mortgage and stuff like that. So we're just trying to smooth out the important jobs, medium, you know what I mean. So just smooth out over the months come in the uh, excuse me the jobs that need to happen. So we're just sort of cash flowing that, that's, but that's working out nicely. But on that note, today, right now, about an hour ago, I've just come back. We've been referencing someone uh, all week and. Um, they haven't been truthful and we found out and just cut a long story short, we've refused them um, into that, that landlord. I was just talking about his property. Um, I said to the guy, uh, if he had been truthful with us from the start, it might have been different. But um, we, I do, we here at, at VC Homes, we do very thorough checks on our references. And if something doesn't add up, I'm going to find out. Well, I absolutely do my best to. So, um, really interestingly, uh, his story didn't match up. When he sent in his documents, we noticed an address which is literally next door to one of the properties we own. So we know who the landlord was, spoke to the landlord, and they're in contract there, and they haven't told us this. And when I called them up, I said, oh, so I see on your, your, your driving license that your address is blah, 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 blah. And he says, yes, I'm staying with a friend. In another lie. So all week we've had red flags going through the referencing process. The lie at the end, blah blah blah. Goodbye. Um, too much of a, a, a risk. Um, it's not how we operate. Yeah, really unfortunate, but something's not quite adding up, and I'm not sure. There's a whole other debacle which I won't go into. So yeah, make sure you reference your tenants very very well. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's even more important now. What with the government changes, you know, um, you've got to be really, really selective of who you put in. You've got to do that anyway, but you have to do it even more so now. Um, so yeah, we've had oh, come back and I've got a gas leak in one of our properties. Um, SGN or whatever, I've been out. Uh, the guy that's in there is a really nice guy. He sorted it out. We had the boiler had a small gas leak. The gas meter had a small gas leak. They've sorted that out. There's now like something outside which is leaking, which they're currently still sorting. It's been happening all day. But also there's a gas leak on the gas hob. I think a bend in it where the, the um, I think the dishwasher is hitting it and blah, blah, blah. So we're getting our engineer out. So it's like dealing with that. Bless him, a really nice guy. Woke up with a bit of a headache. So we sort of smelt the gas and yeah. So dealing with that. Uh, what other emergencies have we had? One of our properties, their boiler turned off. It's added a wire to reset the boiler. Luckily, went there, sorted that out. 
I've had the owner of Timerstat, I've spoken to him uh, to resolve issues which I need to message the tenant back about. Jesus. Um, so I've been sorting that out. Um, yeah, essentially that's it. This is it, the running of a letting business. It's just constant talking and all that sort of stuff. I'll tell you what I did do. I've went out and my boot is filled with chocolates for all of our housemates. Um, we're gonna drop them around. So on, on the first of every month, I do monthly inspections in our HMOs. Um, so all of next week when I'm doing that, I'll drop off some chocolates for all our housemates because um, they are great, great guys. Um, we've written them, I've written them out, some cards. So I'll get them around. I like to do that every Christmas. We've also got our uh, Christmas decoration competition as well. So we're giving up up to ninety pounds um, to the winners for a takeaway meal um, for the best uh, Christmassy house and you know the people that get into the Christmas spirit the best. We've also got um, the external competition to win um, our discount scheme to ten lucky people on five on Facebook, five from Insta, Gram. Uh, yeah, Alicia's been trying to sort out accounts, company accounts. Oh, we've got three companies, so she's been dealing with that. Um, and she's not been very well lately, feeling a bit rough. Um, that's it, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've had, I've had tenants being rude to me and then I've had to say, look, you need to sleep on it, we'll speak tomorrow and then they've apologised the next day and they've gone, you know, I went and met them, spoke to them because I think sometimes over text and whatever, just sometimes you need to face to face, meet people, get it out in the open, you yeah, know, we smoothed it out, he apologised, went back there, sorted that out. Life of HMO slash letting agent in normal, because I've been, I've done a, I've done a buy to let inspection, which um, I need to send the report to. I need to write these down. Right. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you had a good week. Uh, Saturday we go tomorrow. I'm gonna come back to the office, sort out a few things tomorrow. I've got a few viewing, one viewing uh, tomorrow. Hope you're all well. Um, yeah, hope you're all well. Okay, it's Friday night. I'm on the Pepsi Max. Need a bit of energy. I'm gonna edit this up. Do a bit more work. Go home. It's family night. And go, go again. Hope you're well. I'll see you next time.